hey guys welcome back to java collections framework series in this video we will cover list interface okay list is an order collection it maintains the insertion order which means upon displaying the list content it will display the elements in the same order in which they got inserted into list okay so list is a order collection it is also called a sequence and it maintains the insertion order okay and list provides a control over the position where you can insert an element so list uh, basically has an index okay and list index starts from zero uh, just like arrays and you can access elements by their index and also search elements in the list so list has indexes so we can access elements from the list by using their index and list allows you to add duplicate elements and also list allows you to have a null elements okay and some of the most popular list implementation classes are array list link list vector stack copy and write array list okay so let's uh, say we have a list okay and it has objects like object one and then object one so list starts with index zero uh, just like arrays okay and uh, let's say we have a duplicate elements in a list like object one object one so how how i can represent uh, that there are duplicate elements in a list so by using indexes we can identify that there is a duplicate elements present in a list for example i can get a element from the list by using get method so if i pass index zero then i can get this element okay and if i pass index let's say eight then i can get this object okay so i can get a duplicate objects from the list using indexes list interface extends collection interface and list interface has a you know common implementation classes like array list link list vector and stack all right so you can use either of these classes to implement list interface and here we have a choice okay so based on the requirement we can use uh, any of these classes okay in this video let's deep dive into the list interface source code and let's explore what are the methods it uh, you know it provides and uh, uh, in which jar file it is present and in which package it present okay let's switch to the eclipse id and let's explore the source code of list interface in previous one of the video we have explored collection interface source code right and in that video i have shown you how to install the compiler in eclipse okay so look at here this is gre system library and you can just expand this folder and within this folder you can see bunch of jar files and this is rt.jar file inside this jar file you can see there are a lot of packages and let's search for java.util package because a uh, list interface present in java.util package okay uh, let's go ahead and let's see here yeah, here it is this is java.util package so collection interface we have explored in previous video that also present in same package and just search for list interface yeah here it is just double click on it and you can able to see the source code of list interface so list dot class so this is the dot class file and we are uh, you know inside a jar file so inside jar file you can see a dot class files right okay uh, you can see here list interface present in a package java dot util so look at here list interface is again a generic interface you can pass any type to the list interface it means you can create a list of objects list of string object list of uh, wrapper classes objects like list of integers list of booleans and custom objects like uh, user defined custom objects like you can create a list of employees list of students okay so this is generic you can pass any type 
including custom uh, user custom uh, objects as well and list interface extends collection interface okay so this is the inheritance so list interface inherit all the methods from the collection interface and along with that list interface also provides its own methods for example you can search for get method yeah here it is so we can use get method to get a, a particular element uh, from the list by using index okay and list starts with index 0 alright so get method is not present in collection interface so get method and other methods like set and uh, add so we can use add method to add a element to particular location of the list by using index okay great so list in uses index so all the methods related to index are defined in a list interface all right guys and uh, array list link list vector stack so these are the common implementations of list interface great so let me demonstrate these points uh, with an example so let me switch to the eclipse id and let's see whether a list a list allows us to add a duplicate elements or not list allows us to add null elements or not and list starts with index 0 all right so let's understand more about list interface with an example so let's go ahead and let's create a new class and let's call it as list demo okay and quickly create a main method and quickly create a list object make sure that you choose a list interface from java.util package and let's pass a type as string and this is list and we are going to use array list implementation class to create object of list okay and first we will see list allows us to add a duplicate element side right? let me demonstrate this i'm going to add a duplicate elements to the list like let's say element one and i'm going to add same element to the list again and let's say element two and i will add same element to the list and let's print this list to the console and let's run the program and let's see whether it allows duplicate elements or not yes it allows to add duplicate elements because i have added duplicate element that is element one element one twice so it it, it printed duplicate element to the console it means that uh, list allows you to add duplicate elements okay now let us see list allows us to add null elements okay so let me add a null elements to the list null and let me add one more null value okay and after that i am going to print the list okay let's run the program and let's see whether it accepts null or not yes of course of course so we can add a null elements to the list okay great now let's see the insertion order so list maintains insertion order right so let me demonstrate that so here i'm going to comment out this code and let's add uh, elements like element 1 and then element 2 and then element 4 and after that element 3 and then element 5 so we have inserted 1 2 4 and then 3 5 so these are the five elements we have inserted in a list when we print this list we have to get the result as uh, it has inserted in the list for example i'm going to paint this list to the console and if i run the program i would be able to see same result should print it to the console yes element one element two and then element four like we have inserted in the list and then element three and then element five it means that uh, so list interface maintains a insertion order
ok great now let's see how to access elements from the from the list ok so as we know that a list start with the index 0 so let me just print out the elements so I can use a get method and I can access a 0th index of the list that is element 1 like this and let's say I want to access element uh, you know element 4 then I can pass an index 3 okay so this is how we can get an element from the list by using indexes okay so we can use a get method to access elements from the list let me run the program and let's see yeah here we go element 1 element 3 so list start with the index 0 so this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 so if I pass index 3 it should give element 3 not element 4 okay and if you want to get element for you from the list you can you need to pass index 4 like this if we run the program then you can able to see element 5 okay great so this is how the list uh, interface works so you can use different implementations like linked list or vector stack okay so we'll learn more about array list linked list vector stack in further videos so this is uh, how uh, the list works and this is all about list interface so this is how uh, you know list allows to add duplicate elements list allows to add a null elements and list maintains a insertion order and we can access elements from the list using indexes okay great so remember these points whenever uh, you have a requirement to use a list then uh, these uh, these will help you guys okay so uh, when to use a list interface so whenever uh, you want to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity and this group of objects can be a duplicate elements and these uh, elements should maintain an insertion order then you can you should go for list interface okay got it all right guys uh, that is pretty much about list interface i will see you guys in next one